the bloody lever's gone. Lever! Go, 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 the lever! What? The lever, go off! Mark, are you OK? Have a great day, yeah? See you tonight. Uh, yeah, cool. Have a good one. You too, mate. Bye, mate. Work shy, freeloader. Tight fisted cock muncher. <sighs> Maybe next time I have breakfast, he'll make me sit a fucking exam. I wonder what Sophie's flirty cartoon will be today. I really should ask her out for lunch. Can you hold that? You bastard. Thanks. Third floor? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? She could say no. Actually, that'd be terrible. It would destroy me if she said no. There is a notice, you know, about only riding the lift to the first floor. You're wasting mine and other people's time, not to mention... Oh, ah, uh, OK. People like him should wear stickers. They've got them for their cars. Oh, yeah, great idea, Adolf. Morning, Mark. Hey, Sophie. Go on, ask her. Sophie, are you... I mean, would... How's your day going thus far? Have a nice shower or bath? Why do I smell? God, no, you don't smell. I mean, you smell nice. Not that I've smelt you. Uh, see ya. Later, potato. Ugh, potato. What have I become? Superhand said he'll be here in 20 minutes. Means I've got at least an hour. I bet Mark's got some porn here somewhere. OK, where's today's cartoon? Hmm, not bad. No discernible romantic overtones. OK, Pen. Let's flirt with Sophie. Mark's got no conception. He thinks I'm so... But really, I'm busting my creative balls here, day in, day out. No, but it's all, where's the money? Where's my rent? I mean, where's the rent, Mr Jim Morrison? Mr Keats? No, you don't like the attack dog, do you, Mr Keats? Hold on. I think I've struck the mother load. What the hell is that? That is very gay, that's what that is. Come on, go crazy. You're hungry like the wolf. Fantasy figure modeler. Jesus. Maybe this is his porn. I'm giving her a love heart. Yes, that's good. No, no, it's not good. It's terrible. Think crazy horse. Think in your face. What would Jeremy do? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Love's for Nazis. Yeah, crazy love. Nazi love. I'm a nutter! I'm a dirty hobbit, and she's a sexy elf. So she might be, Oh, you dirty hobbit, take off my bodkin and my jerkin. Oh, yeah, pixie ears. But that sword, what if she was a hobbit slayer? I just use my enchanted amulet. Yeah, yield to me, hobbit slayer. You will touch my magic cock. And then I go and seal the deal by doing something wicked like this cartoon. Swastika love. It's bloody mental. Maybe she will think it was charming. Yeah, maybe. Just keep clear of her till you've worked out a... I could say Jeremy had a gun and made me sing it. Because he's a crackhead and he does that sort of thing all the time. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Me living in my crack house. Maybe you could be a crack bitch and sit on my shit. Shit, sugar, fudge, piss, poo pants, bollocks. Yes, Blitzkrieg, I'm in the Arden. You can't touch me in the Arden. Concealed in the cupboard. Everything's okay in the cupboard. I'm safe in the cupboard. Mark, you're in the stationary cupboard. That's right, Jeff. Okay, right. Well, um, I hope you're having a good time. Yeah, well. Hi, Mark. Hi, Sophie. I'm just in the cupboard right now. About the message, we'll talk later, yeah? Uh, yeah, fine. Oh! OK, here we go. Operation come over like an unemployable freak. Jeremy Osborne? Hi, I'm Barbara. Do you want to walk this way? Right you are. 
I might wobble a bit because I'm still a bit pissed from last night, you see, and I don't want to get your hopes up too much because I have to say I'm only really here because, you know... Obviously you know Mark Corrigan. Mark? Oh, shit. Mark's one of the team of loan managers you'd be working Got for. Got to be really careful. Don't want to get the job. Don't want to piss off the land baron. <laughs> he looks like crap. We have to make sure we've ticked all the boxes, so to speak, and kept everything above board. So, um, if I can outline the basic requirements of the role you'll be undertaking, you'll basically be responsible for updating and maintaining the filing system. Now, that probably doesn't sound very important, but the truth is... Shit, what's she talking about? Hmm? Nod. Look serious. I'm Di, she's Bashir. ...is a portal through which the whole company communicates, and if you think... Great. It, He'll be able to pay off the blockbusters fine. Plus, I'll be able to order him around. Not horrible, just... Jeremy, could you file this for me? Jeremy, could you take that for me? Jeremy, could you suck this for me? Jesus, where did that come from? ...valuable assets a company can have. Now, do you have any experience in this field? Uh, I've done quite a lot, actually. I mean, not formal filing, but, you know, alphabetizing the videos, doing the spices. I suppose what I'd want to do is build on that experience in a professional zone sphere. I meant sphere. God, that sounded amazing. Okay. Don't accidentally get the bugger. We're doing great. So, I see you used to be a nurse. Wouldn't filing be a bit of a step down? Yeah, I suppose it would, actually. Although I'm looking for something more relaxing. Challenging. He means challenging. I expect Jeremy knows what he means, Mark. Yes, right. No, challenging is right. Um, but a bit more of a relaxing challenge. More like doing a crossword than a tracheotomy. Right. Oh, shit. My natural <laughs> bloody charm's only swinging it. Got to do something. Are you OK? What? It's just a thing I have. What thing? Facial spasming. Facial sp... You do not have... I do, sometimes. Well, um, I guess that's everything. Jeremy, is there anything you'd like to ask? Yes, Barbara. Yes, there is. Barbara, how much washing up do you think you could do without any washing up liquid? No, Jeremy. Where's this? It's a unique business opportunity. It's pyramid selling, Barbara. I'm very sorry, and... It's not pyramid selling, Mark. It's... It's pyramid selling, and you're making a fool of yourself. You're pissing on my bonfire. There is no bonfire. Because you keep pissing on it. Shh. This is low. This is really low. Yeah, well, at least I don't fancy elves and pixies. What does that mean? I literally have no idea what that is supposed to mean. OK. Uh, well... Thanks for coming in. We'll be in touch. Don't screw this up. No screw-ups. Got to impress. So, Mr Corrigan, we've examined your loan application and I just have one question for you. Are you a pathetic, worthless punk? Uh, w well, no. All oh, right. Because I'm going to turn you down as if you were a hippie parasite. Oh, yes. Yeah, I like it. And then I'm going to make you feel like you're a turkey fucker. Why? Because I'm the big man and you're a shit heel, right? Brilliant. That is just so spot on. Or I could treat Mr. Corrigan like a valued and respected customer and we'd both end up winners. Isn't that right, Mr. Corrigan? Right. Absolutely. Dead right. Alan Johnson. I'm in love. I'm in love with you, Johnson. Hey, Barbara, thought we should have a follow-up meeting, re the phones thing. Oh, you're not here. Well, I'll just leave my new idea in your desk, give you time to think about it. Yeah, so my new idea is urine. Loads and loads of urine. Flooding your drawers. What do you think about that? Don't you think that would be just the ticket? Yeah, you're getting some too. JLB credit, fuck off, please. What? From Sophie? Application letter to... She did it. She stiffed me. Well, Sophie's drawer's getting a dousing too. Or I could park a turd on her desk. Bit freaky. Pissing's okay. Pissing's just horseplay. Oh my god. Oh no. I didn't do it. It's not my piss. It was a joke. She did it to me last week. Shit! Mark? Sophie, I, I didn't realise you were still here. 
Yeah, I've been working late down in marketing. What are you doing? Oh, just likewise. Uh, working late. Uh, left a file here somewhere. Right. Um, Mark, I'm, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually. About the other night at the restaurant, um, I just wanted you to know that I'm... Don't notice the piss. You. Don't notice the piss. Yeah, Mark? Oh, oh yeah, totally. Oh, there's the Finnamore numbers. I knew she had these here somewhere. Let me get those for you. Oh. Thanks, Mark. Um, listen, do you want to... Better not, thanks. Got a lot to do. Thanks. Yeah, I've got to take the letter-shaped knife out of my back, Judas. OK, they're a bit crinkled. So what? Hello, police. Someone broke into my office and crinkled my papers and things. I think not. Hello, Mark. Sophie? I'm coming in, if you're decent. I'm going for a coffee. What happened? It's not piss. Saturday oh, shift. I thought we had people in Ireland to do this for us. Lovely, trustworthy voices. I can call back at a more convenient... OK, bye. Hmm, Sophie, with her lovely soft face. Jeff, can't believe they're doing the Stockport contract. Perfect excuse for him to get around to his place. And here I am, stuck with a new guy. See you later, guys. What? See you later, guys. So, for see you back at my place. 33 Ringfield Road. You ring the vino. I've got the massage oil. <laughs> he hasn't got any massage oil. He's trying to make me obsess about massage oil. And it's worked. Break with the newbie will be a pain fest, trying to chat. Maybe I'll say I'm very upset and go and sit on the loo and just never explain. Huh? Oh, God, he's taunting me. I should have made him a cup of tea when I had one. Hurrah! It was a joke! A hilarious joke! <laughs> OK, great. You sure you don't need a loan? Maybe for some therapy to help you sleep properly. Huh? OK, bye. He'd already hung up. Oh, right. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm so bored I could hit a fucking stapler. <laughs> this is crazy. I should be working. I should be working, but I'm not. <laughs> I see you! I'm Barnes Wallace! You're the Roar! <laughs> I'm the Roar! And no one's actually said the word dumb busters. This is bloody brilliant. I'm having fun. And I'm not thinking about Sophie. Go on. I can't. I'll just imagine it's Ian's cock. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a friend. I've made a friend. Maybe there's nothing wrong with me and I'm just a normal human being. It, it's really... I, I honestly didn't see anyone. Shit, what if they bring in forensics? Oh, hell, I probably shouldn't have done that, should I? My prints will be all over it now. Yeah, well, it's very embarrassing. And since Ian Krauss is of German extraction, it has to be treated as a racial incident. Ian's a, a... a racial incident? But why? Oh, come on, Mark. Germans. Sausages. Do I have to spell it out? The sausage-munching Bosch. Fritz, the bratwurst guzzler. Of course. Horrible. Sofa, I just wanted to say, if we do end up going up the highlands together, I not only expect, but will insist on separate rooms, because... Mark? Alan. Uh, it, it's not what it looks like. It, it's only a pint. Only a pint? It's never only a pint. I didn't even want it. Sophie bought it for me. I asked for a Coke. No, you didn't. You know what I'm hearing, Mark? Poor me. Pour me. Pour me another drink. No, Alan! This is bullshit, Mark. And you can forget about the two weeks in Aberdeen. Two words. Mini bar. Ah, uh, Calibre. Of course, Calibre. Why didn't I say it was Calibre? Calibre would have made everything all right. OK, I'm going to Aberdeen. I'm going, Jeff, in a canoe made of your skin, wearing your nuts as earrings. All right, Jeff? All right, Mark. So, say, tell you what, Jeff, I had a great shag last night. Oh, really? Yeah, with your mum. What? 
Yeah, really doing it, we were. Mate, I know you're pissed off about me going to Aberdeen with Soph and everything, but you need to chill, OK? You need to chill right out, otherwise... Otherwise I'm... what? What's gonna happen, you homo? Mark. Stolen any good cars lately, Mr Scouser? Hey, where's your native wit now, eh, Mr Stupid? Watch it, mate. Come on, Jeff. Let's get down to it, shall we? Come on, you stupid, stinking chicken fucker. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, those chickens really love it when that big rooster Jeff comes a-calling. <laughs> oh, he's bloody broken my beautiful nose. OK, come on. You can do this. Oh, shit. There he is. Am I actually going to do this? I've done self-harm. Compared to that, this is a walk in the park. Come on, man. Do it for Sophie. How's it going, Jeff? Not bad. You? Oh, not bad. Hey, uh, look, look at that. Mike's ass. Quite a nice ass he's got on him there, wouldn't you say? You are. I, for one, certainly wouldn't mind giving him one. Are you trying to tell me you've gone gay? Yes, well, there's no need to spread it around, but yes, those are the facts. Sexuality is a broad spectrum, and... And you've moved into the gay bit? Yeah, that's right. I have gone somewhat, in fact, almost entirely gay. So what? Colin from Human Resources, would you, uh, would you suck him off? Yeah, well, now I've gone gay and everything, do you think it would be all right if I came over to see Sophie now and again? I don't know, ask her. I'm not a prison warder. What? But she said... She said you'd said... Oh, that's fine by me. Well, that's great. That, that's great, Jeff. That, thanks a lot. No worries. Gay or not, there's no threat from you, pal. You could have your cock in her. You still wouldn't have the balls to fuck. See you later. <laughs> Thanks. See you later, Jeff. I'm experiencing humiliation. Blood boiling, anger rising up, ready to explode, then falling back in on myself in the familiar shower of self-loathing. Mmm. -hmm. Warm copies make everything better. Hi, Alan. You wanted to talk about... Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be alarmed, Mark. It's just Tai Chi. Take a seat and I'll just power through. Should take 45 minutes, I'm done in 10. Stick that up your dojo. Huh, <laughs> great. All right, this weekend, the JLB conference in Kettering. I'm planning to unleash Project Zeus. Project Zeus? What's... You will not be informed of the meaning of Project Zeus until the time is right for you to know the meaning of Project Zeus. Oh, right. I do sort of like it when he's rude to me. Hopefully that's more a psychological defect than a weird sexual thing. Okay, now is the time for you to know the meaning of Project Zeus. The meaning of Project Zeus is why can't marketing be an arm of sales? I, I don't know, Alan. Thousands of reasons, but also kind of none. But won't marketing kick up a shitstorm? Uh-huh. And that's why I've booked you and me in for a presentation to the board. I'll leave the details up to you. But if you persuade them, we co-manage a new super department. And if we fail, well, you're the junior guy, you take the bullet. Christ. Exactly. So, uh, you're gonna need a team. I'll assign you some slave drones. Milk them till they're dead. We just need them sweating facts and shitting stats for us till D-Day. Okay. Okay. And if we succeed, I'm gonna be Charles, and you'll be my Camilla. I'm going to be Johnson's queen. If the public will accept me, I'm gonna be Johnson's queen. Ugh, Kettering. Got to force sales and marketing together with my bare hands, and all I've got to help me is this bunch of mooks. OK, well, Johnson will be here around three, so I just want to pull together your individual work ahead of the big presentation tomorrow. So, what, what have you got? Have you got the logistics figures, Lisa? The, the finance projections, Katie? The, Jeff? Yeah, well, we chatted, and you said relax and take your time, so we thought before we started there are a few questions that we should... So, you're kidding? You, you've got... nothing? Well, you did say relax and take your time. Yeah, but I didn't actually mean relax and take your time. Jesus, I'm giving the presentation tomorrow. Johnson will be here at three. Don't, don't you get it? My balls are on the line here. Well, if you want, we could form a couple of work groups and... I don't care how you do it, as long as you fucking well do it, OK? OK. 
Listen, Mark, I did have a little look, and one of the concepts that I came up with was not just amalgamating sales and marketing, but also putting planning into the mix as well, uh, to see if with one big department we can't... Uh... That sounds interesting. I, I, I tell you what, why, why don't I take that, cos uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the loo in a minute, and I can have a look at it, and then I can wipe my fucking ass on it! If we're integrating two departments and it's a nightmare, how exactly is pulling a third in gonna help? You dick pull! I feel so bad about betraying Mark. Still, now the snog for Jez's snog book. Oh, he looks terrible. Looks like he could do with a friend. Mark? God, I really hope I don't still smell of Sophie. What's on the piece of paper, Mark? What? Is there something on that piece of paper that's made you sad? You know what this piece of paper says, Jeremy? Is it something to do with history? Have they stopped history books? This piece of paper says that I am fucked. Oh, that's horrible. Who sent you that? It's my plan for Project Zeus. Let's have a look. That's what I've got to go through that door and pitch to the entire JLB board in ten minutes. Shit. I'm about to walk into a boardroom gangbang and get fucked by the biggest swinging dicks in corporate strategy. Maybe you should run away. Right, thanks, Jez. Well, I mean, people say it like it's a bad thing, you know, running away from your problems, but if your problems never catch up with you, what's the hitch? Right, well, in this case, there will be repercussions. What do you care? You'd be in the woods playing the ukulele with the rabbits and the squirrels. I suppose I could run away. Do it, man! I think that was good advice. I mean, I didn't actually expect him to do it. Maybe I wouldn't have said it if I thought there was any chance of him actually doing it, but... Yeah, there he goes. God, I'm running away. This is brilliant. Maybe I'll go to a KFC and have a whole bargain bucket. Or I could join Al-Qaeda. Maybe I'll marry my lap dancer. I do think in a weird way we had a connection. Fuck the blockbusters, fine! I'm going clear! Hiding out in a car park. He's not exactly Grizzly Adams, but it's a start. Jeremy! Where's Mark? What the hell are you doing here? I know my rights. I've spoken to my friends at the Citizens Advice Bureau. Pay up, or I shall make a disturbance. OK, sure, fine, if it'll make you feel any better. Here. 380 pounds. Cash. Will that do? I'll take it. And you know what? This means nothing to me. I haven't got a penny in the world, Suze, but this means nothing to me without you. There! You see? Now do you see? That's how I feel. Now you go back out with me? Uh, no, Jez. I'm just not really that into you. In that case, if you'll excuse me. Shit. This could be difficult to row back from. This isn't a misspelled email. This is going feral. I mean, rejecting society and seeking the company of wild creatures, that's not going to look good on my quarterly review. What's Jeremy stealing? Hotel napkins? Mark? So... What the fuck? Why are you hiding behind a bush? Aren't you meant to be in the big meeting? It doesn't work, so Project Zeus, it's unworkable. What am I going to do? Hey, look, it'll be OK. You know what? You should just go in there and tell the truth. The truth? Soof, this isn't an advert. This is real life where cocks get chewed off and asses get stuffed with compliance reports. Look, I know it's corny, but just tell them this is real life. Smelling the flowers, all that reports up bums stuff. That's the bullshit. Just tell them the truth. You're sorry, but you tried. Do you really think? Of course. Hmm. Maybe she's right. Maybe the truth does work. Maybe Iraq was a good idea. Maybe I am putting enough into my pension plan. Maybe computer games aren't a waste of time. Maybe OJ's innocent. Maybe everything's going to be OK. Everyone's wondering why you climbed in through the window, Mark. Yeah, well, I, I don't play by the rule book. What, what can I say? You don't use doors? Uh, every window is also a door. Not every window. Well, that depends. I mean, not, not tiny windows, like lavatory windows. OK, Mark is now going to take you through the detail of Project Zeus. Right. Here I go. Palms dry, mouth dry, intabatic area moist. So, uh, 
Integrating sales and marketing. Project Zeus. The bad news is, it doesn't work. But look, big picture, so what? Maybe we shouldn't be in the credit business at all. Maybe we should look at uh, human rights or, or global warming. I mean, these are just ideas. But uh, where's the humanity? I, I suppose that's what I want to ask you today, if, if anything. Where is the humanity? Old friend. Shit. I'm crashing and burning. That stupid bloody hippie sold me down the river. Plan B. What is plan B? Right, OK, you're going to stop the murmuring. Please, stop murmuring. Unless you think it's nice to murmur at someone who's dying. Did I just say that? I did just say that. Yep, that, that, that's right, I've got brain cancer. Half my brain's been eaten away all, already, probably, but I think I did a pretty decent job for a man with a brain tumour the size of a pineapple who, who's going to be dead within a month. Uh, plan C? Is there a plan C? Ah, oh, oh, my brain, my poor diseased brain! Mm, yep, I'd just like to assure everyone that Mr Corrigan will indeed be dead in a month. Mmm, why toast when he can roast? Another roast? That's the third today. What's well, nicer than a roast? Yeah, but chain-eating roast. Who is that? Sophie's dad and her cousin Barney. Barney? It's the wedding tuna, your half. Oh, what? Really? Heartbreak tuna? Oh, no, Jez, just bin it. I mean, not literally. There's no need to be overly dramatic. Freeze it. See how I feel in six months. So... They came all this way, just for the tuna. They were dropping Sophie off. She's going back to work tomorrow, so... Sophie's going back to work? But that's outside the terms of the treaty. Six weeks, six weeks till we go back. This isn't six weeks, this is three. Shit, I've got to get in there to stop her lies. What lies? That I jilted her at the altar. Right, technically, I mean, I'm on your side, but technically, that's not a lie. I did not jilt her. Technically, I married her. Well, maybe, but I think what sticks in everyone's memory is the bit where you jilted her. Oh, shit, if you think that, what's everyone else going to think? Oh, God, I've got to get in there. If she wants a PR war, she can have a PR war. I'll Mandelson her. Nobody wanted new Labour, Jeremy, but now we all know how it works. Walking into the jaws of death. Got to go past Sophie's desk. What am I going to say? Please save me, Jesus. I'll believe in you if you save me now. The other way! She's looking the other way! Thank you, Jesus! Although it was 50-50 which way she'd be looking. Might need a bit more to start believing. Oh, the gossip mill. That's right, stare at Hess. Throw fruit at Hess, pacing his prison yard. Mmm, piggin tea break. Cup of piggin tea and work out my piggin campaign strategy. Oh, knickers. Here we go, Lisa. She's not saying anything. Brilliant. Good old English reserve. Um, Mark, I, I just want to say about the wedding and everything that I think you're a real piece of shit. Oh, OK. That's fair. Lisa is a very fair person. OK, grab your nuts, Corrigan. First contact. There she is, Sophie. Should I go over, forget the spin wall, apologise, stab myself with a fork? They only have plastic. Oh, crying. Yes, nice. That's going to play very well with the floating voters. Nice tears, Goebbels. Her and her mates will probably start handing out vicious cartoons of me as a rodent in a big top hat and everyone will think it's hilarious until a mob comes round and smashes my shop window. At least I've got off the roast wagon. Oh, God, there she goes. This is a public relations nightmare. Where do I sit? This must be what it's like being a nonce in prison. Uh, uh, hello, is, is it OK if I go here? Please don't call me a piece of shit. Sure, whatever. I'm Debbie, but everyone calls me Dobby. Are you new? I, I don't think I've seen you here before, have I? I'm the IT misfit, the man with no name. I'm in and out, Kettering, Croydon, Aberdeen. Oh, right. Uh, I'm Mark, but you've probably heard of me under some other horrible abusive name. No, why? Oh, no, just... Everyone abuses everyone now, don't they? Fuck off. Fuck off, you wanker. It's supposed to be funny, but, but of course it's not. Wow, you, you carry 
personal cheese. Is that allowed? I'm a smoker. I need man cheddar, you know? Right. If you like, you could... If I was seen sharing cheese with a woman, it could be misinterpreted. My approval rating would drop through the floor. Plus, looks like she might gnaw on it. I'm fine. I think if I ate anything with any flavour in this room, my body would probably spasm due to shock. Right. <laughs> oh, by the way, is, is it possible to easily put a block on a couple of email addresses? Why, what have you been getting? Oh, nothing, just some crap. You're a piece of shit, shitter. Stuff your bollocks up your gob. It's just mates and that. Fuck off and shut up and die. Yeah, they're, they're pretty funny. Assholes. OK. Jeff, Lisa, Paul, their emails are going to junk. You can check them if you want. Plus, I've put an auto-reply offering them to come and sit on your hairy dick. Joke. <laughs> That's a good joke. She's nice. She's being nice. I'm pathetically grateful. Maybe I should ask her out for a drink. She, she is a floating voter, plus she's weirdly attractive. No, don't go there, Clinton. Got the nod. The mark of the human. I'm a human, you're a human. What else is there to say? Hi, Mark. Nice to see you. Dobby, likewise. There's meant to be a bunch of USB sticks here, but... God, there's an atmosphere. Sexual tension, or just misfits scared of sexual tension. Who are? Oh, no. This is a disciplinary hearing waiting to happen. Oh, I can't reach. Could you...? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, uh, you'll, uh, you'll... You'll have to move. Yeah, I should move, but I might not move. Is she shifting her bum against my area? Uh, are, are you sure you, you don't want to get out of the way? I'm all right. What if someone comes in? Should step away. Step away from the bum. Bit impolite to step away. I don't want to step away. I've got some feta today. Oh, feta? That's, that's a sheep's cheese, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. <clears throat> or, or, or goats. This is possibly the most exciting thing that has happened to anyone ever. Does she know what she's doing? Is she just innocently waggling her bum around and I'm getting illegal benefit? I'm not doing a sexual assault, am I? You can't do a sexual assault if you stay still like a statue. I'm just a statue, a dirty, filthy statue. Oh, God, I'm getting very... Captain Corrigan is flying without a licence. Oh, Jesus, it's too much. I'm going to blow my beans. I'm going to do a Jezel Beach. Don't let her know. Uh, 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 Are you OK? I'm fine, uh, but sorry, I should be going because, uh, you know, the, the world turns on its axis. One man works while, while another relaxes. Ah, oh, post-its. Bye. Uh... Did she notice? Should have stayed for at least a snog, but for some reason my interest level just dropped straight off. God, it's soggy down there. It's going to start chafing. Need to clean up. Need to get out. Shit. Elaine and Michael. They'll probably want to talk quarterly sales. Fire exit. Could bust out here and out into the car park. Fuck. Hey, it's the wedding crasher. <laughs> Hello, you two. Oh, she's smoking a joint with her ex, when we should be newlyweds, remorselessly working our way through the lover's guide. Hi, Soph, how are you? How are you feeling? Well, I want to give things another go. You do? No, of course I fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was funny, there. Yeah, we should talk about divorce options at some point. Yeah, maybe not while I'm in spermy pants and you're high. Here. Whatever, Mark, run away again. I'm having a laugh, <laughs> so I don't really give a toss. What are you doing out here anyway, Mark? And what's that in your trousers? Oh, God, it's seeping through. Have you... pissed yourself? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I did a little bit of wee on myself, so... <laughs> you twat! Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> oh, yeah, they can laugh, but I win because they think I pissed myself. They've no clue I came all in my pants. Dobby, my cupboard lover, stationary sex queen. I can't ask her out, I'll be dead in the PR water. Oh, don't think about it. Just drink buckets of tea. Pig in tea break? Oops, Butterfingers, your clumsy wife. She has gone beyond now. That is too much. That is way over the line. Maybe I'll stick it back to Harpend and Harpend and Harpend and see how she likes that. No, can't we leave the mugs out of it? Even the mob never hit the families. So it's true. I heard about the rumours, but I couldn't believe it. I'm so sorry about your mug, Mug. And so you know Sophie's behaviour has become unacceptable. I've instructed her to take a break. She's going to spend some time with her parents in the country. Right. Wow. Oh, my God. This is piggin' massive. I've won the spin war. Would you like to? Smash it. Uh, thank you, but no. Very well. I can't believe I let this happen on my watch. Right, Dobby. Who cares what people think? I'm back, baby. The bitch is back. Hey, Dobbs. Just wondered if you fancy coming down with me to the fuck bunker and... Is that what you call the stationary cupboard? No, God, no. No, no, it's, it, it's a venue. Uh, my mate's playing a gig down there on Friday. I just thought it might be cool to swing by there and check it out. Your mate's playing a gig. Check it out. Mark, you're not trying to get away with pretending you're a normal human being, are you? She's the one. Oh, Dobby, let me chew on your weird hair. So, as you know, I'm off to Frankfurt this afternoon. Now, normally I'd appoint a caretaker manager. Oh, Johnson. Let me count the ways how I admire the organisational and interpersonal skills of thee. Right in front of me. Nice. Reckon Sophie was almost definitely the one. Yep. As soon as she's horrible to me, realise I want her. Classic. The bloody lever's gone! Lever! Get the lever! What? The lever! Come on! Mark, are you okay? Oh, oh wow! Oh, God! And for his next trick, Mr. Corrigan will slide a 2B pencil up his anus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, acute social embarrassment plus intense physical pain. I'm really pushing the envelope. <laughs> You OK, Mark? What happened? I don't know. I, I was just looking at Sophie and then... Yeah, she could be a bit more subtle, couldn't she? Is it right she's taking Tolly to your birthday? Well, I need the numbers, so... <laughs> oh. Perhaps it'd be better if you left the self-harming for the weekend, mate. <laughs> Jeff's doing a joke. Jeff's doing a joke. Everybody quiet, cos Jeff's doing a joke. Freak. Do it. So, uh, Sue's off? Yep. Some redundancies are more voluntary than others, eh? She's taking it well, there. Show me a good loser, and I'll show you a loser. So listen, that new office of yours, I think it's time we busted its virginity. He's not gonna hump me in my office, is he? Marketing's a petrified forest. I'm gonna need you to swing your chopper. Is that okay, Corrigan? Uh, sure thing, Alan. Oh, God. Firing people. Maybe he's gonna make me fire Dobby. He knows I like her. He scented my weakness. Hey, husband. Hi, Soph. How are you doing? Oh, pretty terrible. This wine is so disgusting, isn't it? Yep, it's very horrible. So, how's Jez? He's joined a cult and he's changing his name, but fine. Wow. What is his new name? Jared. Oh, that's not good. I know. So, you had a look at the annulment stuff? Wanna go to your new office in a bit and annul the hell out of our marriage? Quick divorce, back for nibbles. So, how are things? What happened to what's his name? Tolly. Uh, no good. I waited till about the fifth weekend and then I said, look, I want a baby, like, pretty fucking soon. And he said, oh, that's interesting. And then, boom, gone. Right. Men don't like babies as much as women. That's my analysis. How are things for you? Missing me? Got anything going? Oh, but, you know, I've, I've got... Someone in the in the crosshairs, but I, I I might let her live a bit longer before I pull the trigger there. Are you though? Missing me? Yeah, well, I, I probably do miss you. A bit. She's playing me like a tuba. 
I mean, I miss you a bit, so... Should I? I could. I haven't made my move on the Dobster. I'm still a free man. Maybe I'm Shaft. Maybe I'm Trump. Yeah, I'm Trump in my dirty wiggy tower. Look at me. Drunken one-night stand. I mean, she is my wife. Still, finally got to use my bachelor's emergency condom. Oh, shit. Oh, bollocks. Uh, so, uh, I, I think there might be a, a, a bit of a problem. Uh, it, it's not... It's, it's been in my wallet so long, I, I think the rubber may have perished. O old Meg has broken. Oh, God, Soph, I'm sorry. It's broken? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I, I suppose, just to be on the safe side, uh, morning after pill, you, you could... I hope, maybe. Yeah, there's quite a lot of powerful hormones in those things, so I might just... Uh... What? Well, just let nature take its course. I mean, chances are on a one-off, nothing's... <laughs> so, so why are you sitting like that? Like what? Like that. It's comfy. It's just sitting like that, it, it might... Look, this is just how I'm going to sit. I like sitting like this. Stop sitting like that. No. Please, sit up. Look, just relax, OK? I'm not going to sit up. I'm just comfy. That is low. That is really low. She's taken my sperm. And sperm is like lending someone less than a fiver. You can't really ask for it back. <coughs> Hope she's not pregnant. It's been ages. She hasn't mentioned it. She won't be pregnant. It's not like I'm a Royal Marine with super sperm. Oh, hi, Alan. Looking good in here. I've got a 32-inch plasma in mine. You get a document up on that baby and you are seriously looking at that document. So these are the figures from Human Resources. The droid for the chub. Sophie's the lowest ranked by far, so... Sophie? You want me to fire Sophie? She's been a liability for months. She came in late again this morning, stinking of booze and fags. She's so unpregnated. I'm not running a rehab clinic. This is a maximum security business institution. And if you can't break rocks, you get shot in the head. Do your duty, Corrigan. Chapman, Corrigan. You wanted to see me? Uh, y yes, sir. T t take a seat. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, yes, there's, there's something I want... Well, I, I, I don't want, but I, I've got to tell you. Yes, and I've actually... Uh, I've got some news. Big news. Oh, yes? Please don't say you're pregnant. Please don't say you're pregnant. I'm pregnant. Fuck! Right. You're pregnant. Of course. I did three home tests last night and they were all positive. Right, only three. Look, I, I know neither of us planned this, but it's happened, and I want a baby. So, what was your news? Well, uh, uh, have you ever considered, you know, redundancy, uh, voluntary redundancy? No. Have you ever considered involuntary redundancy? You're firing me. Well, no, I, I mean, I've, I've been asked to fire you, but that doesn't necessarily mean... Oh, great, yeah, that's perfect. It's just what I need. I've just found out I'm pregnant now. I'm losing my fucking job. Oh, Mark, I don't think I'm going to be able to cope with this. Oh, fiddlesticks. Of course, I'm having a baby. Great. I'll, I'll probably drop it or it'll grow up and write a bitter memoir about how distant I was. Sorry. Uh, look, Sophie, I'm... I'm... I'm not going to fire you. Um, we'll sort something out. I'll fire someone else. Paul, he's a pain in the ass. That would be nice. Please stop crying. And, and I, I just want to say that, that, that I'll be there for you. I, I'm, I'm going to look after you and, and I'll, I'll cook your meals and wash your clothes and... and Still crying. If, if you want, I'll be there for you 24-7. Would you do that? Absolutely. <laughs> Just got to say the right words. Can think about what they mean later. This suit is sapping my vibe, my powers. Can't think right. Yeah, well, why don't you get another job? You could explore that opening at the giant beanstalk, catching the golden eggs as they fall from the arse of the giant's chicken. I mean, there weren't any jobs when I didn't want a job, and now I do want a job. There are, like, totally no jobs. Not just, like, there aren't any jobs, but, like, there are totally, quite literally, no jobs. You should just get a van. With a van, it's like you've got an MBA. But you've also got a fucking van. 
Yeah? You're not just a man anymore. You are a man with a van. You get a van, Jez. We could be men with Ven. Listen, a bunch of stuff got left on board. Thought you could feast on this lot. What is it? Sex stuff, booze, drug gear? Baby shit. What? Why'd you bring that in here? Well, you two are on some baby tip, aren't you? One of you's the father of Sophie's Jerry Springer baby. We're not doing baby. There'll be plenty of time for the baby later. The baby's too big. You, you can't look at it, Hans. It's like the sun. Yeah, that's the policy. What's in there, anyway? Baby shit. It's so small. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, thank you, but put it under the bed, Jeremy. OK, yeah, it's going under there. Right, it's under there now. It'll be safe under there. OK, keys, change, wallet, phone. <clears throat> OK. Jesus, you are something else. Thank you very much. He took the insult right. as a compliment. Now, Shit, he could become invulnerable. I'm just going to take off my flatmate hat and put on my much larger new JLB manager's hat. Have you not sorted this yet? Hi. Colin, listen, buddy, could you do me a favour and take a punt on a grunt? Yeah, farmyard fodder, a day player. No overheads, no holiday, no contract. Cut and shut, a phone pig. Ha-ha! <laughs> exactly. Cool, bro. Thanks. Phone pig? You're not going to lord it over me, are you, Mark? Of course not. Maybe I could make him wear a little coloured hat like they do with chimpanzees. A cone with a propeller on top. I might tell him it's a first day tradition. Wow, she is one hot tamale. Did you hear the boiler in the night? Were you hot? Whatever. I sleep naked, head out of the window, so when I wake up, it's just me and the universe. But how? Your bed's on the other side of the room. Got a system. The maestro magically made her think of me naked. He didn't even clock her. Tragic. Think she spotted it? Just... Yeah, that's right, sweetheart. Ergonomic management keyboard. So this is it, Jeremy. The field of screams. Colin will be in in ten, but I think this will be your area. What, all of it? Uh, yes. Cool. Whoa, it's Tippy. I've got a Tippy chair. Yeah, so you'll just be following the cold calling script. There's a script? So I'll be like an actor? Exactly, Jeremy. You'll be just like an actor, like Al Pacino or Jeremy Irons. Just tell everyone you call up, hello, you've been specially selected as eligible for our exclusive introductory interest rate. Well, no, not everyone, because if it's exclusive, then... Oh, my God. It's wheels within wheels. I've been invited inside with the bean counters and the water borders. At some point, he's going to find out what goes in sausages. Out with the artificial limb, the salaryman keyboard, in with the dominator, the Death Star. Yeah, Dobby. I'll summon her in later. Uh, Dobby, I seem to be having a server problem. Could you have a fiddle? I think the problem is in my pants. <laughs> oh, Jeff! I'm busy, Mark. Not too busy to check in with your boss. You're not me boss, Mark. Stop calling yourself me boss. I'm head of a team that contains people of your level. I I'm certainly your superior. Let's leave it at that. I'm on your remuneration committee, so fingers crossed for that bonus, Jeff. What's funnier, zero bonus, or like a humiliating 103 pounds? Both are very funny. Hey, man, can't stop just to say it's all going super great down there. Y you're not leaving, Jeremy. You've got to stay until at least five, or it makes me look bad. I've made, like, four sales. I'm zinging. Colin's put me top of the leaderboard. I'm in line for Pizza Hut vouchers. You're king of the farmyard. Y you're in line for the free garlic bread. What's... Oh, fire alarm. Oh, God, look at you. What? A frightened little mouse. It's a fire alarm, Jeremy. Oh, yeah, right, like there's a fire. There's never a fire, Mark. It just doesn't happen. I mean, maybe in a film, but... So what? There's never been a fire anywhere? Not in an office in England. God, you're pathetic. Ooh, fire. Please don't burn me or my possessions. I'm so important and flammable. Is this a test? No, not a test. Come on, Mark. Fucking hell. Get your elbows in. It's all gone backdraft. What's going on? There's a rumour in that huddle of third floor Daleks that it's a test, but the phone pigs are sure there was a fire in the farmyard kitchen. The maintenance man's pulling his pud in the porter cabin. Come on, your management, Corrigan, get it sorted. Right. <laughs> Chance would be a fine thing. That's the thing people say, isn't it? Apparently the reset code needs to be authorised from Frankfurt, if you can believe it. Mark, can't you reset it? Chance would be a fine thing, Lisa. I know what we should do. Coffee run. Corrigan, 200 lattes. <laughs> good, good one, Jeff. <laughs> Chance would be a fine thing. A, a, a fine thing indeed. Hmm, saying that too often now. 
Uh, everything's under control. We'll, we'll have it all sorted so, soon as. Qu quick as. Oh, thank God. Johnson. The great helmsman can march us to a grain depot and we can bed down for the Come night. On. Listen. So, uh, listen up. I just got in from Aberdeen. And, and I want to warn you that you're probably going to be hearing a lot of rumours. But... I can reassure you that Stefan Strauss and the rest in Frankfurt are doing everything they can. Talks are ongoing and everything's looking promising. But I need to inform you that you're all officially unemployed. What? what? But no! I, I've just started being a boss! What about my Danish sofa? What about my keyboard? I didn't get to show Dad a business card. The doors are locked. JLB Credit UK is no longer existent. Thank you and good night, England. Alan, Alan, where do management go? Alan, let me in, Alan! The last beamer out of Saigon. I'm at the mercy of the Vietnamese peasants. Please don't put me in a bamboo cage. Wow, so everything's just gone tits up. I mean, how mad is that? Head fuck or what? Yes, Jeremy, it, it is indeed a head fuck. Exactly. He was just saying a bunch might go down the crown. The crown? You know, down the crown. Everyone goes on a Friday. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, d down the crown. Great. One morning and he fits in better than me. If you're at a loose end, I might need a couple of guys. Do a job, cash it in. Oh, the high quality upholstery is like a knife in my back. All we need is another guy. Hmm? Any guy with hands and arms and legs who might be around to just jump in the van and earn a few quid. Hmm, a guy. A guy who needs a bit of cash. A guy, a guy, a guy. Where can we find just a regular guy, any guy? I'm trying to think, but I... I can't think. <coughs> How did this happen? I woke up Branson, end the day, humping shit, cash in hand for super hands. Uh, where do I go? You're riding bitch. On the bitch rack. God, Hans is my boss. Jeremy's probably my line manager. Sorry for the delay. <coughs> While I was waiting for the food, I actually sketched out a potential invite for the JLB Survivors fundraiser. It's just a satirical sideswipe at the corporate culture. Star Wars? If you stroke my down, I shall become more purple than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> yeah. Isn't down for a duck, not a cat? Yes, but it's got to be cat because of purple. Is it? Yes. But if you stroke my down... Yes. I mean, it's definitely got to be a duck because... You're overanalyzing. But people will be laughing so hard, they won't be thinking about what it does or doesn't mean, Jeremy. Where's my fucking nugget? I've dropped about six social classes since this morning. Where's my onion rings? This is... this... this is... This is... You fucked this order right up, haven't you? Hey? Haven't you? Hey? Answer me! Yes. Right. I'm having your chicken wrap. Cheers. You can have your chips. You... can have this... Little bit of matter. Oh, for once in my life I've done enough physical labour to merit a high carb meal, and all I'm left with is an indeterminate puck of gristle. I can't believe they left the door open. Yeah, thank God for that. Superhands? Cheers, what are you doing here? We're going up there to fuck shit up. No way. Oh, right, fair enough. I, I suppose we'd better all just. What? Sorry, man. I've got keys. Of course oh, he's got baby. keys. He's carving up the JLB corpse. We're just going to take what's ours. Look, honey, you need to make your protest through the agreed grievance procedure. That's a good procedure. Royal! Put it back, bitch. That's JLB. It's the pass at Thermopylae. We're the Spartans. No, Hans is the Spartans. Come on, Mark! Hold on, am I a Spartan or a Persian? Fuck it, I'll work it out later. OK, what's the minimum criminal damage I can get away with? Take that! Our work here is done! Let's go! Snowstorm! OK, there is a nuclear reaction underway. <laughs> but I can be a cooling rod. They're the hard spirits, I'm the carbonated mixer. How can I distract the savages? Keyboard! Apparent crusade for justice, reduced risk of RSI at home. Double bubble. I, I, I've got it! I've got the keyboard! Mission accomplished, guys! Let's roll! Why has he got his shirt off? Any excuse and he'll take his shirt off. Oh, God. Got to respond. She's got a cock. Need to get a cock of my own. Suck on this. Take it, bone face. Dobby's hard-on's coming all over me. This is my dream, my nightmare. Eat my phone, baby. Eat it off. Never phone alone. <laughs> phone, phone.
Oh, this is better than sex. It's easier than sex. Oh, my God. That wasn't my main photocopier, but it was a trusty steed when the main one was busy. Screw it. Who needs photocopiers when you've got a woman and a high-resolution printer that scans? Shall we? Yeah, I mean, I, I've copied a lot of shit on this copier, but who the hell even cares? Mark? <laughs> Hello? Stefan, what, what are you? We're shredding, Mark. What's going on? Nothing. But, I mean, obviously, we're fucking everything up, and the fact that you're probably insured for all this doesn't make a blind bit of difference to us. Yeah. Yeah, so suck it up, you douchebag. There, I've got you Where? this. Emergency pipe, in case you need to zhuzh it up. Thanks. I, I think it is pretty zhuzhy, though. Dobby, about... Jan's laptop that you lent me. Do you mean the jazz movies that were on there? Oh, you, you, you found those? Yeah, well, you didn't delete them from temporary internet files. It didn't have to be, like, the homes of porn. Don't worry, I've got rid of them. You should have told me, Mark. I know, I'm, I'm really sorry. Look, you're a man. Men like to look at troubling images of heroin addicts showing their genitals for money. That's hardwired, like spatial awareness. I mean, it is disgusting and shameful, but... You know, so's the textile industry. Right. Thanks. God, you're great. I would definitely go to Hastings to get bread for you. Fuck, I'd even pop over to Ostend for waffles. I've lost three already. Three have wandered off. I don't think they went for the Huguenots at all. And there's Jan, noting down my failures and mistakes and idiocy for posterity, like an evil Boswell to my shit Dr. Johnson. Right, so, uh, how's it all going? Of course it's not going well. I've got an audience of six, and three of them look like sex tourists. Right, well, this former Huguenot chapel was actually converted into a synagogue in 1870 for Jewish people of Dutch descent. Does anyone know what the trades were that the Dutch Jews were mainly involved in? Where did Jack the Ripper kill his first victim? Oh, God, a heckler. No one? Uh, well... Actually, it was the cigar and diamond cutting industries, leading a contemporary joker to... W was it near here that you killed them? Th this is primarily mercantile history, I'm, I'm afraid, sir. So he didn't kill anyone near here? Yes, yes, he did. You're, you're right, he did. Just over there, just outside Jessup's the camera shop. You'd have thought they'd have got a picture, wouldn't you? I'm, I'm sorry, but have you even paid? Public highway, I'll stand where I like. R right, well, you're stealing a walk. Uh, everyone else here realises you're stealing this walk. Not worth paying for anyway. Your shit. This is a disaster. This is a massive pedestrian car crash. Sorry, historical rigor. Sorry, pastos. Right. Well, even though our friend there was in many ways a thief, he has brought me on to the next stage of the tour. Because, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the game's afoot. Saucy Jack is on the loose. His victims lie strewn all over Whitechapel. We must track this villain. But how? Well, that's... Elementary. <laughs> I've sold out. A little bit of me has died. But you know what? A lot of me doesn't give a shit. So, Mark, obviously a little dry at the start. We bit dusty bin. <sighs> I don't like you, Jan. But you really pulled it off towards the end. For a first time, you really impressed me. Wow, well, thank you. Good old lovely Jan. So, I'll be in touch about organising some more tours. That'd be marvellous. Oh, there was a file you left on the computer that you borrowed from us. Shit. Was there? Yes. I had a look at it. I'm sorry, but it was an application from you for a full-time job with a loss adjusters, and I just wanted to make sure that you would actually be available to work for us. Oh, yes, I'd, I'd absolutely be available, Jan. The, the, the loss adjusters application w was just insurance, if you'll pardon the pun. It was actually quite a good pun. Is it over? How do you do? Shit, then shitter, but then good. Great. I was feeling a bit guilty about not coming. You know, I think I've been taking Mark a bit for granted since I started seeing Elena. You know, it's been Elena this, Elena that all the time. Elena, Elena, Elena. And that's wrong. Anyway, Elena said I should come and make it up with him, so here I am. Right, well, he's just talking to Jan at the moment. So I can delete that file on the laptop, then? Yes, please. File. Ah. Uh, that wasn't actually Mark's fault, that file. No, no Jeremy, you, you don't need to do this, really. The porn on your computer, Jan, the hardcore pornographic sex film on your laptop, that was me. I'm fundamentally a sex addict. I wank 10, maybe 12 times a day. It's a disease, a wanking disease. I done the downloading. 
and then I done a wank. I'm, I'm so sorry, Jan. This won't be a problem, will it? Um, I, I'll uh, give you a ring, Mark. Superb. That's the single nicest thing Jeremy has ever done for me, and it's completely ruined my life. You lovely shithead. My God, is this Johnson's recession residence? Not much to look at, but then apparently Sugar actually operates out of a refurbed autofix garage. Mark. Hello. Hi, Alan. Don't come in. Oh, no? One question. Yes? Do you want to make shed loads of freaking money? Uh, yes. Then come in! He's taken a shine to me. He's singled me out. Here's my pitch. New management consultancy. You and me. I'm the face, you're the uh, tendons and the grizzly shit under the surface. What do you say? Oh my god, I, I, I don't know. Really? <laughs> Look at you. You're like the fat girl who's just been asked to the school disco. Well, yeah, my, my only hesitation is I don't have any actual experience of management consulting, so... In, fire 30% of the workforce, new logo, boom, out. You are now a fully trained management consultant. <laughs> Great. Follow me. Finally, I'm being groomed. Up the pink carpeted stairway to business abuse. Welcome to the nerve center. Okay. Well, there's no point in maxing out on overheads until the clients come flooding in, right? Right. Smart. V very smart. First things first, let's uh, hook up the printer. Oh, uh, Alan's pajamas. Probably still warm. Under the duvet. No one should see under the duvet. <sighs> Good old Vista. People give it a bad press, but I'm never upgrading. Why would I? It just feels like a good pair of jeans. You fancy making us some builder's tea? Wow, amazing. I'm working with Johnson. Okay. I've grasped the talcum powder of power. Could slip it into my pocket as a memento. Hi, Suze. Mark, tea's there. Will you tell him his phone's charged? Oh, right. Sure. Suze, where's the big scissors? Have you moved the big scissors? Tell him they're in the cling film drawer. Right. Got to go out. Audition. Oh, brilliant. What is it? It's a stage version of that movie Crash. You know, the one where all the different races are all the same, but they're all a bit different and it's all fine. The blackies and the whiteies, etc. Uh, that's an interesting message. It is, actually. I'm playing a whitey, as you can imagine. Right. Typecast again. Exactly. <laughs> Builder's tea. I suppose that's middle class slang. We don't coin much slang in the middle classes. Pants. Mare. Ooh, I'm having a mare. This Builder's tea came out pants. Right. Ah, uh, Sue says your phone's charged. Did you make the bed? Uh, no. You're not my wife, Mark. I had a wife. I don't need another bullet in the head. Okay. Righty, righty. I made his bed and got his tea. I am his wife. First things first. Funding. I reckon we need to each put in a tour. Good? Oh, right. Two Just thousand? Two million? Two success. pounds? Right. Equal partners. Two K. Straight down the middle. Lamps and JT, working together in perfect harmony. What do you reckon? So I suppose if I, if I got an equity release on the flat, then... Yes. Great. Got to be cash, yeah? Cash? When the banks collapse, the stud holding cash is going to get a lot of blowjobs. Know what I mean? Oh, OK. Fine. Oh, my God, I'm bumping fists. I'm in bed with Johnson. Oh, for freak's sake. You going to need to print anything today, Mark? I, I, I don't know. No, I, I should be fine. That was the correct answer. Maybe I dodged a bullet with Alan. I can take my two grand and head to the hills with the banditos. All set. Got your swipe, Bob. Check. Remember the opener? Hey, can I get some nachos or margaritas to kick you hombres off? Great. Now get out there and work that tush. Tits and teeth, Mark. Tits and teeth. Oh, God, this is terrifying. Just me and the public and some laminated menus for protection. OK, here goes. Hi, guys. Party of four, let me show you to a table. I'll grab you some menus, but first, can I get some nachos, margaritas, or something soft for the little guys to kick you hombres off? I improvised. I'm the Miles Davis of Mexican restaurant waiting staff. Just some menus and a jug of tap water, please. Uh-oh, skinflint alert. Oh, what have I become? It is legal right by God. Mark? Hello? Alan? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. You got the message, then? Message? About meeting here, you've obviously got it. Uh, yeah. I was worried. But hey, you're here. This is Colin and Naz from Sales Direct. Uh, uh, hi there. Shit, Daddy's hat is back on. This is my business partner, my wingman. Mark Corrigan. Mark? Oh, not now. Table four? Sure thing. What was that? Nothing. 
Are you working here? Yes, uh, of course. I've, I've mentioned that, I'm sure. So, you're all set for menus. No, you definitely didn't mention that you'd started working in a Mexican restaurant. Well, you know, it's, it's just part-time. I'm still your wingman, Alan. It's great to meet you guys. What sort of area are you interested in us taking a look at for you fellas? Table four, Mark. I ought to be going. Cool, cool. I'm just settling these guys in. Can I get you hombres some nachos or margaritas to kick off with? Well, we're grateful you've done all this uh, up front. Oh, don't thank me. Thank the Microsoft Office family. PowerPoint, Excel and Word. The three amigos. So, what's your M.O.? Well, uh, Can we get some menus, please? Hold that thought, Colin. Hold that thought for one second. Just got a cold shoulder of the shit munchers before I service the big swinging dicks. Can we order some drinks? Nope. OK, right. Let's get into this, mother. <clears throat> We're going to have the early bird menu, please. No, you're not. It's 803. OK, Mark, look. Working with Colin and Naz here, I think what we need is two executive teams. Uh-huh. OK, smart. Super smart. I'll do the consulting, the number crunching, the meta-analysis and the business plan while you cover the fucking off and getting us a nice cold picture of Bud, OK? See you around. So, fellas, let's get into this now. Tension headache. Brain tumour, maybe? Sexy, fascinating, roguish brain tumour. Not with my luck. I think I will ask Gail if I can take some time off. Mark, what are you doing? You're needed. Order for that table of teenage pistards. Right. Gail, w when you've got a second, later, maybe, I was wondering whether my taking some holiday might... Mark, we're two chefs down. Abigail's got norovirus. Marek just took the tip of his little finger off right on the eve of his sister's wedding. Coincidence. Um... So this is not the time for you to ask to Skype off. Jesus. Good to get that out in the open. At least I know where I stand now. I'm precisely where I was a second ago, but quite a bit more upset. Shit, it's the rogue trader. I wonder if his dish, perchance, cost £11. Enjoy your meals. Just keep walking, Mark. Oi. And now walk back, Mark. I never ordered this. I think you did. Uh, burritos Deluxe. No, Burritos Mexicano with jalapeno sauce. Do I know you? No. Um, oh, uh, right, yes, I'm afraid my colleague who took your order must have made a mistake, so... Don't blame her. For fuck's sake, man up. You're the one who brought the wrong food. True, but, but I was only... Following orders. Like Vince Cable. Don't blame a woman, you piece of fucking dirt. Now fuck off back to that kitchen and get me what you should have done the first time. Mug. Fine. Right. Fine. OK, great. You want the jalapeno sauce, mate? Well, you can have the jalapeno sauce, but with my hot yellow pit in it. Yeah, see how you like this. I can't go. I can't piss. Come on, bladder. Please let me piss in the sauce. Mark? Am I sacked? Sh sh should I go? I bet I'm sacked. Grayson's the kind of guy who will respect you more if you stand up to him. Interview advice from the disordered mind of the crackhead. Right. Yeah, you should be like, no mate, let me stop you there. This interview's gone on long enough. I need a shit and a glass of water. I'll be back in five. Then march out, stroll around the block, back in, he'll love all that. A shit and a glass of water? Yeah, whatever. I've got a headache, need a baguette. OK, here goes. At least I'm the first one in. Hi, Robert Grayson. I'm Mark Corrigan. Hi, Robert Grayson. Pleased to meet you. Hi, Mr Grayson. Pleased to meet you. Mr Grayson's ready for you. Thank you. Hi, Mr Grayson. Pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm Robert Grayson. Pleased to meet you. No, I'm Robert Grayson. No, sh sure. Are you Robert Grayson? No, I, I'm sorry, you are. You are. I'm not. I, I'm very sorry. Hmm. I have a sudden overpowering desire for a glass of water and a baguette. Wow, I can't believe I got a second interview. If I can only remember my own name at the next one, I might be in with a chance. This is appalling. Three trains, four buses and a cab. Anywhere between two and five hours, depending on waiting times. How is it this complicated to go to an industrial estate in Lutterworth? I feel like I'm trying to get to fucking Mordor. In 100 yards, turn left. Oh, God, no. Shut turn up. Turn left. Turn around when... I don't know how to turn it down. Make a U-turn. Make a U-turn. And I'm here, the Emerald City, only 24 minutes late. Well, Corrigan. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, hi. Alan McGurnigy. So I said to your guys I'm not looking for new models at the moment, but they said they'd send you just in case, so... <laughs> what is it you've got? Uh, right, yes. That towel rail is, is particularly sturdy. Not for me, thanks, Mark. Uh, cheers for coming. Hope the drive wasn't too bad. Three trains, four buses and a big fuck you. Buy it. Please buy it. It's a tap. You sell taps. Please, please buy it. Don't like this one. 
Right, so, um, interestingly... Come on, think of a celebrity. Um, not the Queen, that's too obvious. Jules Holland has got that one. Oh, I think it's a no. Thank you. Right, no problems. Oh, cool. What are these? Are they for sale? Oh, no, what's he doing? I'm looking for some taps for my new bathroom, and I love these. They're not actually for sale. Oh, that's a real shame, because I like them a lot, as would all of my friends and colleagues. I think Mark Ronson has ones like these. Really? I didn't know that. Mark Ronson, of course. He's cool. Say someone else cool. And Werner Herzog's got them as well. They're amazing. I want them. I mean, we do have a lot of taps that look like these ones. No, 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 it has to be these ones, these exact ones. Can I buy them? Um, yes. Just give me two minutes. Mark, do you want to follow me? I am such a good friend and person, but I still get the glare. I'd probably still get the glare if I gave him one of my kidneys. Well? I sold 300 units. Amazing! But fraudulently. I'm basically the Bernie Madoff of bathroom retail. I think I'm going to puke pure adrenaline. Is he the guy that rides the ostrich? No, that's Bernie Clifton. Madoff is... Well, if you replace the ostrich with the Nasdaq share index, you're basically there. He's a dirty crook, as am I. Thanks would have been nice. Right, yes. Thank you for making me commit fraud. Oddly, I haven't seen that card in WH Smith's. Oh, please. Oh, God, no. Well, keep pushing. Yep, we are. Uncle Mark, I need the loo. Yep, yeah, just push for now, Joshy. There's a good lad. Is it OK to make a five-year-old boy push a car? It's character building, probably. But he is on the exhaust side. Oh, I'll swap in a bit, that's fair. Although he has got young lungs. Mark, you left your... Mark, keep pushing. Sorry, what... Do you two know each other? Quickly, Mark, let's go. We've been rumbled. Let's go? Where, Jeremy, you bloody idiot? We can't start the pissing car. Thanks a lot, mate. And uh, apologies again for grifting you. I don't suppose you could maybe not mention it to Robert at Bath, Bathrooms and Fittings? Great. Joshy's doing a poo in a display toilet. The final indignity. OK, fine. We'll keep this between us. Thanks. Thanks so much. Not letting you turn round yet, old friend. This handshake's only just beginning. As a representative of this store, everything you do on the road comes straight back to me. I know it God, I would love to pop market, that spot. Just put a hot flannel on there and then crack that mother wide open. That would be a great night in for me. Are you listening to me, Mark? Yes, uh, of course, and, and I want to apologise. The fact is, Robert, it, it was my driver's idea. He, he very much started grifting without my say-so. I, I was barely involved. Started what? Sorry? Calling Mr. Franks, who, who said he wouldn't tell you, but, uh, well, clearly he has. Right. So I got a call from Alan McGurnigy at Lutterworth about you leaving a number of editions of some book you've written, business, something of the pharaohs in display toilets. Bollocks! I haven't heard from Dave Franks. Yes. Um, great work, Mark. No need for the waterboard. Just show me the poppable whitehead. Did you try and con Dave Franks? Can you just give me one second, please, Robert? Hello? They're saying they can either do it now or it'll be another six weeks. Six weeks for a new wall? I need her to move in quicker than six weeks. They're saying it'll cost 9,000 plus VAT. 10,800 pounds? That is fantastic maths. It's supposed to be about 700 quid. I can't spend that. That's virtually the entire sinking fund. Hang on. Uh, Robert, hi. Yeah, I just spoke to Dave Franks. Apparently you and another bloke tried to swindle him, and then one of you did a shit in a display toilet. That wasn't us. Uh, there was also a five-year-old boy. I didn't mention a boy. There honestly was one. The, the shit will be child-sized, if, if you ask him. I'm not asking him that. OK. Am I fired? Yes. Right. I'm approving it. It's coming out of the sinking fund. I'm the chairman, and I'll transfer the money in five. Finally working at a bank, and banks have turned into phone shops. But it is still a bank. <laughs> I'm the Wolf of Wall Street. Look out, Boots. I'm going to buy a hundred meal deals and eat them off a prosy in the nude. Hey, 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 Marco. How are you going, good buddy? Yeah, great, actually, old pal. Oh, really? I thought you might be feeling like a guy who's just walked into a high-class restaurant with a sausage dog on the end of his dick. Uh, no. I got something up on my visual display unit this morning, Mark. I thought it was a high-definition photo of some dog shit. Then I took a closer look and I realized it was actually your sales record. Oh, right. I pull strings to get you in, Mark. If you look like a sausage dog fucker, then I look like a sausage dog fucker. Did you get me? Got to get my dick out of the dog. 
Someone didn't get enough tomato sauce on his bacon butty. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he certainly needs a, a little more sauce. Ah, oh, just repeating the joke. I need to elaborate on the conceit, but too worried about redundancy. Hello, how hard can I shaft you today? Jerry's sales record shits on mine. I need to sell a loan. Fuck, where's a good old-fashioned gullible idiot when you need one? Mark. I felt a bit bad about the other night, so I got you a biscuit. I mean, they call them cookies, but I know you prefer me to call it a biscuit. Uh-huh. Um, the, the good thing is that, that to get, say, £3,000, you'd pay just 21% APR. Is that good? It's pretty good, yeah. Uh, and uh, you'd only need to repay 2% of the capital a month. If you want the loan to last 184 years. Three grand? Free? Well, it's not quite free. But I get it without having to give you anything. Yes. So, basically, it is free, really. <laughs> yes. You've winkled me out. It is basically free. And the interesting thing about you is that you'd actually qualify as an F6. That sounds good. It's a credit rating especially for people like you. The terminally ill and criminals who might flee to Thailand. Ooh, I've got a credit rating. Yes, you have, Jez. You have. And to qualify for this loan, all you need is a reference from a landlord or a former landlord. Would you like to play capitalism? Great. And now I'm all signed up. Could we have a chat about living arrangements? Yeah, I've moved out of Hans's. So, yeah, I'm considering something really exciting. A night in one of the royal parks. Unless... Homeless Jeremy. No, harden the heart. I'm moving on. Look, Jez, you wouldn't want to live with me and Jerry. We're, we're stick in the muds who like nothing better than watching Civilization with Kenneth Clark whilst eating artichokes and sea bream. No, great. Good, I'll be uh, fine in the park till the loan comes through. Anyway, thanks. There goes the first beat of the butterfly wing that starts the next financial meltdown. I need something new to throw out the window before April loses interest. Could bung my George Foreman off the balcony? Sorry, mate. Oh, it's grudge time with Jerry. When is he ever going to forgive me for bundling him into a sleeping bag and throwing him in a lift? Mark. Oh, Angus, sir. Uh, hi. I wasn't expecting... So, I found a place that does something called an air contrast barium enema. They basically pump air into the rectum. Apparently you get an incredibly clear silhouette of the whole downstairs area. Sounds perfect. Inflating my colon like a weather balloon. I'm not here to talk to you about a colonoscopy, Mark. I need a loan. 5K. I think I'm losing April and, and she wants this cruise. I don't know, I feel like if we go away together that might fix everything. Sure. Sure it might. Well, let me just enter your details into the system. Look at me. I'm entering his details into the system. Telephone, telephone, sunglasses, smiley face, crucifix, and enter. Oh, Angus, your credit rating is, frankly, sub-Grecian. But I have mortgage statements. Mate, I'm... I'm sorry, it's a no. Three-way spite feast. No commission for me, no cruise for April, no marriage for Angus. And it tastes great. Mark. I need five, like, quite intense minutes right now. Hi, Angus. Just FYI sort of thing, there is a very slim possibility that a bank robber is heading into the bank right now. So, you know, act normal, but also be on permanent high alert. Jeremy, what are you talking about? It's just some mate of Superhands, some pub man. A pub man? I'm getting robbed. No, it's all fine, because I told Hans to tell him, no shooting, Mark. What, what do you mean, no shooting? I was going to get shot. No, because it was a red line. Oh, and no one ever goes over a red line, do they, Jeremy? Tuition fees was a fucking red line. Look, it's just a caper gone bad. He wanted your swipe card, and then I took it, but then I didn't give it to him, and... You took it? Jesus Christ, Jeremy. Come on, Mark, on your high horse. It's a bank, they're insured. It's a victimless crime. No, Jeremy, it isn't. It's a victim -y crime, and the victim is me. I'm gonna get shot. Oh, how many times, Mark? You are not getting... You are not getting shot. Why does it always have to be about you? Oh, I'm sorry, Jeremy. I'm sorry for being all self-pitying about my potential shooting. In a way, you do work in a bank. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, come on. You're probably due one. Oh, great. I'm due one, am I? I'm due a good shooting. It's my turn for the big shiny bullet. Oh, shit. Is, it, is, is that him? Is that the robber? Shit. Where's the panic button? I can't find the panic button. I'm panicking. I can't 
can't find the money. Just fucking calm down, Mark, for fuck's sake. Look at him in peace. Lucky thing so hard to find. Will you stop panicking? He's just some nutter. Exactly. He's a nutter, Jeremy. A nutter who may or may not have got the memo re not shooting me. He's queuing. Why is he queuing? Robbers don't queue. We need to leave. What if he shoots everyone? He won't. And if he does, what are we supposed to do? Stop him. Yeah, that's what we'll do, Mark. We'll stop him. We'll stop the armed maniac. Me and you. I'm not running away. I'm just walking over here to reassess the situation. All the way over here and out of the bank. It's fine. Everything's going to be fine. No one's getting shot. Right, we need to move. He's quite obviously going to shoot everyone. What? What am I doing? I need to go back in. What, what about Angus? He's a cadaver, Mark. He's toast. Coffee shop. We'll wait in the coffee shop until the shooting stops. Macchiato and a blueberry muffin, please. A muffin? You're going to stand here waiting for a massacre eating a muffin? What difference does it make? Unbelievable. Uh, flat white, extra hot and a biscotti. But this is on you. I I'm holding you fully accountable. You know what? Soz. Soz is not an appropriate level of apology for facilitating an armed fucking robbery. Joe? Dress. Hey. I'm at the offices on Cowper Street. They don't seem to know who you are. Oh, um, sorry, I can't really hear you. I I'm just at Highgrove. Um, in fact, Joe, there's a very distinguished older gentleman who'd really like to have a word with you right now. Do a Prince Philip. What? Do a Prince Philip and I'll go and tackle the robber or whatever. Oh. Christ. No, I'm, I'm not doing a fucking Prince Philip. Uh, sorry about that, Joe. He's famously flighty. You're not really at Highgrove, are you, Jeremy? Uh, no. I'm actually at Balmoral and... Hello? Hello? He's gone. It's happening then. Joe's starting to see through me. Really, Jeremy? Tell me more, because I'm so invested in your domestic horse shit right now. Mark? What the hell are you doing over here? Oh, hi, Alan. Just on a quick coffee run. Oh, really? Hanging out with your little buddy. Mm. Playing conkers with your little chum. Get back to work. What about my coffee? I'll bring it. Exit, Mark. Jeremy, you coming? Sorry, mate. Right. Off I go. On my own. Off on my merry way. No one seems dead. It's a promising start. Oh, God, here he goes. Oh, he's bottled it. He's just a big, beardy pen thief. Mark, it's going through. Your mate sorted it. We're going cruising. Brilliant, Angus. I I'm happy for you. Thanks, Jerry. Oh, not a problem, Mark. I'd happily steal your sails all day long. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alan. What's up, Captain? What's the skinny on the dope? Good morning, Mr. Corrigan. Mr. Corrigan. Do I smell corporate lube? Am I about to get organisationally fucked? Is that Baker from Regional? What, what, what is this, Alan? I'm sorry, Mark. You've just stepped into the arena naked. In a matter of seconds, wild beasts are going to fly to your delicate areas and tear you to shreds. Is this about the permanent markers? Because mm. I needed them at home for projects. Ah, oh, sorry, mate. You're getting shit-canned, Mark. You're getting fucked by a flagpole in your tiny little vagina. Jeff! Yeah, I had a rifle through my old address book. I'm in, and you're out. What? But ca can't you do anything? Sorry, Mark, you're contaminated. You're the astronaut with typhoid, and I'm going to stand well back while you're fired out of the airlock. No, Alan. Remember all the good <laughs> times, Alan. So, Mr Corrigan, it has been brought to our attention that you certified a loan to a friend of yourself ticking the certification boxes without adequate document checks. Well, this is gross negligence, and we're dismissing you forthwith. I'm sorry, which loan was this? Um, to a Mr Osborne. Jeremy. It's come to light due to a complaint. What complaint? Who complained? Well, Mr Osborne has been in contact to say that he believes that the granting of this loan to him was um, out of proportion with the just working of the universe. He does not wish to be responsible for another Greece. And he's claiming mental incapacity due to the influence of the internet reducing his attention span against his own will. But I can get the money back. I know him. I can get it back. Mm. I'll jam a biro in his eye and drag him in here today. That may be your way of operating, Mr Corrigan, but it's certainly not ours. Shafted by a piss addict. I've cleared out your desk, mate. Your wet wipes and your mega puzzler. I'm hung out to dry. I'm human laundry. 
Ugh, Jeff, Jerry and Johnson. A trilogy of shit. <laughs>